Welcome to the ITX build. In this three part series we'll show you everything you need to create the most ultimate mini 4K PC that is just as comfortable on your desk as it is in the living room. In this final video, part 3, we're going to show you exactly how this thing performs in some of the latest and greatest titles. We paired it up with some of the most capable gaming hardware as well, so we've got a Asus monitor and you can find the full review of this in the top right hand corner, but it's G-Sync, IPS, curved and features a resolution of 3440 by 1440 And if you want to use this in the living room, you're probably going to want to know how this thing performs at 4K on a Samsung 4K TV that we currently have down in the living room. But while a system is all about its game performance, it's also worth noting that this is a very quiet running system. Thanks to the Asus Strix Cooler and the Corsair ML Pro fans, this thing runs very quietly, almost inaudible at idle, and then ramping up to some high-end gaming, it's still fairly quiet, I mean it's definitely audible, but if you stick it under your desk or you put it far away in your living room, you're not going to hear this over your game at all. But without further ado, I believe it's now time to talk about game benchmarks. So. How does this thing get on? Well, to get us started, we'll look at 3D Mark Time Spy, where we got a score of 6,834. Moving on to the real games though, Just Cause 3 Ultra FXAA, we got 60 frames a second at 4K, and then 79 frames a second at 3440 by 1440, which is very impressive and makes for a very, very nice experience indeed. As for our next game, Battlefield Hardline running on the Gatorbait level at Ultra settings saw us get an average of 51 frames a second at 4K and then 73 frames a second at 3440 by 1440. Both very impressive scores. And moving on to our final game in the test suite, our Avid Racing Simulator, we have Grid Ultra Sport, Ultra Settings 2x MSAA, and we got 125 frames a second at 4K and 156 frames a second average at 3440 by 1440. And so all of these scores show that this is not only a capable gaming machine, but a very capable 4K gaming machine. We are still away off constant 60 FPS minimum frame rates unfortunately, but if you do want to pair this with an ultra wide monitor then that becomes less of an issue and this is mainly all thanks down to that GTX 1080. And if you want to see more benchmarks and to give you a better idea of what this card can do, you can find the full review in the top right hand corner in the little eye. But if we go back to the beginning and look at what this system was designed for, review the brief, I wanted to create something that would be just as happy on your desk as it would be in the living room. And in that respect, I think we've cracked it. I know there are definitely smaller cases out there and I wholeheartedly recommend that you go and shop and choose a case that you really like. But if you do want to create something that has minimal compromise, that is still very portable and something you ultimately don't have to worry about lugging around, this is definitely one of those systems. There'll be plenty more system reviews coming very, very soon. I've got a value price performance one coming up very soon, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But this is the end of the series. If you've liked these videos, please hit that like button as it really does help other people know that this is a video worth watching and then watch it. A massive thank you again to Corsair, Asus and Intel for supplying the parts for this build. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Let me know in the comments section what videos you want to see coming up very shortly. And of course, if you want to see more videos in this series, let me know what sort of price point you want me to hit. So there we go. Subscribe for more videos just like this. Check out the links in the little eye if you want to see more videos. And of course, if you've missed parts one or two, go and check them out in the eye in the top right hand corner. A massive thank you once again, and I'll see you in the next video.